welcome back in this tutorial i will show you how to identify major and minor axis of columns in etabs so in structural engineering identifying the major and minor axis of the column is crucial for accurate design and analysis the traditional method is by using the formulas ixx equals bdq by 12 and iyy equals dbq by 12 to compare the moment of inertia and determine the major and minor axis so let me take an example here i have a column size Two hundred millimeter and six hundred millimeter. So this horizontal centroidal axis we will call it as XX, and this is our vertical centroidal axis, we will call it as y y for this case i x x it will be b d cube divided by 12 so which is equal to width of the column 200 multiplied by depth of the column 600 cube so divided by 12 so let me solve this so 200 into 600 cube so divided by 12 so it is 3.6 into 10 power 9 3.6 into 10 power 9 mm cube so this is i x x so similarly we will calculate i y y so it will be db cube divided by 12 so here it is 600 multiplied by 200 cube divided by 12 So 600 multiplied by 200 cube divided by 12. So it will be 400 into 10 power 6. 400 into 10 power 6 mm cube. So here Ixx is greater than i y y because i x x is 3.6 into 10 power 9 i y y is 400 into 10 power 6 so we can conclude like this i x x is major axis and i y y is minor axis so in first case this is our x x it will be major axis so this i y y it will be our minor axis because here i x x is greater than i y y so in the second case so column width is 
600 whereas depth is 200 millimeter so this horizontal axis this xx vertical axis is yy so here in this case ixx will be so 600 into 200 cube divided by 12 so it will be 400 into 10 power 6 millimeter power 4 sorry here the unit is mm power 4 because it is moment of inertia it is the product of area and twice the perpendicular distance so unit will be mm power 4 so for i y y it is 200 into 600 cube divided by 12 which is equal to 3.6 into 10 power 9 mm power 4 so here i y y is greater than i x x because i y y is 3.6 into 10 power 9 I, y, I x x is 400 into 10 power 6 so here I x x is minor axis I y y is major axis so here this horizontal centroidal axis xx it will be minor axis this yy vertical centroidal axis it will be major axis because in this case i y y is greater than i x x so from both the cases we can conclude like this the axis which is perpendicular to the perpendicular to the depth depth of the column is termed as is termed as major axis the axis which is perpendicular to the depth of the column is termed as major axis in the reverse, the axis which is parallel to the depth of the column is termed as minor axis. Here the depth means larger dimension of the column. Okay. The axis which is perpendicular to the depth of the column is termed as major axis. So here larger dimension of the column is 600. The axis which is perpendicular to this dimension is your axis xx. So it is major axis. Here in second case the depth of the column is 600. this is perpendicular to yy axis so in this case yy axis is major axis
okay so traditionally we rely on manual calculations using the formulas so now i will show you how to identify the major and minor axis in e tabs so i will open my e tabs model so this is my e tabs model see here so here this column is 600 into 200 again this is also 600 into 200 whereas this column is 200 by 600 this will be 200 into 600 again this column 600 into 200 here it is 600 into 200 first i will switch on the local axis so go to this this set display options you click here object assignment you turn on local axis apply close okay so now look at the columns local axis displayed on your model so here it is you have a column like this one axis is in blue color another another axis is in green color so let me erase this The axis marked in blue is your major axis. The other axis is the minor axis. So here for this column, this blue color, the axis marked in blue is your major axis. The other axis is minor axis it is minor so for for in this case the blue color is this one this is your major axis and the other one is your minor axis so this quick trick can save a lot of time and effort compared to manually calculating the moment of inertia especially when dealing with multiple columns in a complex structures so in the conclusion also i told the same thing so let me erase everything So in the conclusion, I told the same thing, the axis which is perpendicular to the depth of the column is termed as major axis. See here, here depth of the column is this dimension. 
600. The axis which is perpendicular to this depth is this blue color axis. So it is your major axis. But in this case, the larger dimension will be this 600. The axis which is perpendicular to this larger dimension or depth of the column, it is this blue color, blue axis. It is your major axis. So, like this way, you can identify the major and minor axis both manually as well as in ETAPS. So, you should be careful while doing the manual calculations. So, you correct this unit. This is mm power 4. In the beginning, I told it as mm power q. It is wrong. The correct unit for moment of inertia is mm power 4. Because moment of inertia is product of area and twice the perpendicular distance from reference reference axis either it may be x or y axis so area measured in millimeter square distance distance it is in millimeter here it is twice the perpendicular distance which means mm square so it will be mm power 4 so unit of moment of inertia it will be mm power 4 